Right, we've come out to the bottom end of parkour, which we don't normally come to, to test the um, two things, the off-road capability of Lily's uh, hoverboard. Um, we're filming this on the Gear 360 2017 model, and we're going to do a little bit of a review on the new Mad V Mini that plugs into my phone. So, yeah, I'll be on the end. Because I don't use this gear enough. And they have come down to like literally under £100 now for the Gear 360 2017. And it's got stabilisation on it. That's the lake. I thought it was a lot bigger than that. Should we go over to it? Test it on the grass, Lil. Don't drive into the water. Yeah. Wow, what it is, the lake normally comes up to here. But it's been so dry, it's all evaporated. Wow. Because all these reeds are normally covered in water. No, you don't want to. And it's really green and horrible. Wow, it is really low. Because those banks there are where the fishermen go. They're normally surrounded by water. Be right coming down. Right, lean forward. It's supposed to do a 20 degree incline. So it shouldn't have a problem going up this bank. Take it steady, just keep it in the middle. So keep going, we're going up quite a steep bank now. So this is really, I've got your hand, you're all right, keep going. We need to show people what it's capable of. That's it, keep going, well, well balanced. That's it, that's yeah, good call, been on that bit. And then it levels out at the top of it. Well, that grass now. Which is still quite a bit of an incline. Go on, give it some up the bank, see how fast it'll go. Wow! Like that. And off you go. That's it. You don't want to go up there? No. Yeah, you keep doing it, right? It's good. Okay. Let's go. I can just go in the middle. Right, so. Took a little bit more of a bank, but no more than what you did earlier. It's just because one, one foot's pushing it back a bit. Won't hurt it. Alright, come, keep going. Right, well, we've just been through a major rocky bit. That's all on his hand, but it did well, didn't you? A lot more confident since we did the video up at Longton Park. So this is about as rough as you'd want to get, I think. They are advertised as able to go on bricks and sand, which is what we're on. Um, obviously just not water. And he's just on this smooth bit. Of stuff there. Obviously for um, licensing reasons we can't play this music for long but as you can see the speakers, turn it right up the volume up on the, 
volume playing on the speakers built into the hoverboard. Right, we're heading back to the car because um, the Mavi Mini has to plug into your phone in order to work. And uh, I've left my phone in the car like a dope. Are you laughing at? Go on then, let's see you give it some wally along this off-road. Go on, some acceleration. Kick the, kick the dirt off. Ready? One, two. Let me just get over these bricks. Go on, I want to see you wazz over them. That's it. Whoa, almost. So we can safely say that it's far better on extremely short grass and dry ground like this. Blackberries are starting to mature already and we're literally the last day of July 2018 and the blackberries are coming out. So yeah, we can conclude that it does have off-road capability but obviously it's your ground clearance that may be an issue because when it hit that rock earlier, even though this has got eight and a half inch wheels, there's no way that the little five, six inch ones would do. The 10 inch might be even better, but they tend to not be as chunky wheels as this. Well done, Lil. Get on the grass, you stick getting on the path. Okay. See what your acceleration's like on the grass then. Go on then, scoot off into the distance, ready? Yeah, probably is. Ready? Go! Okay, so we're almost back at the car now. We've tested the uh, hoverboard. What do you think, Lil? It's good. Very, very you feel a bit more confident on it these days. Yeah. So, um, yeah, hopefully you like our quick 360 review and parkour of the hoverboard on off-road. Thank you very much for all the support on recent videos, especially the ones that I did at Fairford. Um, 100 views in one day on a video, which I know for some people would be nothing, but for me is awesome. So, thank you very much for that. Um, keep watching. Mixture of 360 and obviously normal. Um, hopefully going to get hold later on another month so the QCAM 360 and I'm also going to be swapping the SJ Cam 7 and 6 that I've got for the SJ8 Pro so I will be doing reviews on them as well when they arrive thanks very much and catch you soon